Good morning, everybody. It's a good day. Got a lot to do. Kind of came at you uh, as a surprise with this live stream. I didn't like do any preemptive posting or anything. Just popped on. I think that's the way to do it sometimes. Oh, by the way, for the vlog tomorrow, I'm doing a little time lapse of this live stream. So don't let me forget to stop it. I can't let it go the full hour or whatever, however long we do this because <laughs> it'll eat up my memory card. Okay, I gotta, I gotta pull up this live stream here from my computer so I can see your comments. Events. There it is. Um, what are you guys up to today? What's up from Norway? Hi, Miss Goom. Glad to see you here. Did everybody watch uh, yesterday's vlog? I posted it kind of late. Wait a minute, what was that? Oh, <laughs> I thought I saw, okay, anyway. What's up, Jordan? Stoked to have some company in the shop today, right on. All right, I'm just pulling up the comments here. There we go. We got Jerry from Gatlinburg. We got Brian here, what's up? Nadia, Brian, Alexis. I'm trying to work and you go live. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. Hey, you're on the good end of that. You get to keep working. I'm the one that gets distracted. I have a hard time working while, uh, you know, I wish I, it'd be cool. I need to just like start putting on somebody else's live streams while I work and that'd be fun. Um, did, did ever, okay, I forgot. Did I read any of that? Did anyone see the vlog from yesterday? I actually posted it really late today. Yesterday was crazy. Um, I just, I was barely able to get the vlog edited and uploaded. Uh, I think I finally uploaded it by like 10.30. We just had a lot going on. So um, anyway, uh, we talked about how to use video, not how. We talked about why makers should be using video um, in their craft to help them build their brand and establish community and things like that. And uh, I mentioned the new Facebook group, Maker Vloggery. Hola, what's up, Brad? Um, and so I just wanted to mention a few things about that because I, man, I was kind of feeling bad. I stayed up so late last night because as soon as I uploaded that video, I realized I got to get, you know, my crap together on that group, and make sure all the rules are in place and the, you know, the questions, the required questions at the beginning, just so everything's like in line as people are joining in. And uh, I saw a lot of you join in, by the way. I'm so appreciative of that. You guys are the best. Alexis, I saw you. Um, it says, and requested to the Facebook group. I missed your first comment, Alexis. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw the vlog, decided to start doing videos. Right on, Alexis. Um, I think I, I recently approved your uh, request to join the group, so you should be in now. But I wanted to put out a little uh, disclaimer here. I felt bad because a lot of people had joined in before I posted up the rules. And um, so there were a bunch of posts that went up and things like that that I had to actually delete. And I just wanted to make sure everyone knew like, please do not be offended if I had to delete your post. It wasn't because it wasn't a good post. Your work is beautiful. Um, we had some people just posting pictures of their work and um, Unfortunately, that's not within the scope of the you know ultimate purpose for that group. So I just wanted to, um, so I put up a post later saying like, hey, go check the rules, they're all up, everything's squared away. Like we should have all the rules squarely defined now um, and you can know exactly what that group is for and uh, be posting within the guidelines. So just a couple of things. One of them is like no link dropping. I didn't want it to just become a, a group where people just go, you know, drop their link right into the into the feed and say, here's my Instagram, here's my YouTube, and, and it's just a bunch of those. Um, there's a better way to do it. So for instance, if you wanna give yourself an introduction, the way to do it will be to like film a 10 to 15 second uh, video or teaser, um, introducing yourself, 
put it up to the page, and then in the comments, you can link anything you want in the comments. That way, we, things are gonna stay cleaner. Um, it's not just gonna be a bunch of links going into the posts. Um, so we wanna see video content. I wanna see like 10 to 15 second teasers um, about what your video's about or um, what you're all about, your intro, your work, whatever. Do a video teaser and then put links down in the comments. So um, that's just, yeah, so no link dropping. And then the other one was, um, what did I have to, uh, oh yeah, I was just about staying on topic. So we had a, I think that um, some people got the impression that this group was just for the purpose of posting your work and just, you know, any kind of like, you know, sharing your work or whatever. Unfortunately, there, I mean, there are a lot of other groups and other places and forums to like just post pictures of your work. Instagram, for instance, uh, tons of different forums. Um, a lot of other Facebook groups like Leathercraft Facebook groups that you can just go share your work and say, look what I made. Um, like I said, that's not what this group is for. This is all about connecting through the idea of vlogging. So the idea of video documenting your process and, and everything that goes around it. So we're going to talk about like, um, you know, the struggles, the victories, the, the techniques and strategies, tips, like the type of gear you use. Um, best posting times on YouTube, like all these kinds of things, like the things that we struggle with and, and think about on a daily basis as somebody who's trying to consistently document their work on video as a craftsman or as a maker. By the way, it's really cold in here. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh man, last time I was complaining about the temperature in here, it was way too hot. But uh, yeah, it's, it's freezing. So my fingers are like hardly working. I'm kind of procrastinating. Um, Jordan says the rules are solid. Really happy you're sticking to your guns on them. Some people may take it personal, but it's okay. Unfortunately, it's impossible to make 100% of people happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that, Jordan, because I was feeling really bad. Like the post, like the immediate post, we had like 10 to 15 posts right off the bat as soon as I launched the group and people just posted a lot of pictures of like holsters and you know things that they, they were making and um, it was so cool to see that and I loved seeing it, but that's just not what the purpose of the group is for. So I'm really sticking to my guns. Like we gotta keep it in lines with the scope of the purpose, the overall ultimate purpose for the group. So um, yeah, anyway, don't be offended. That group is solely for any of you that are craftsmen, makers, artisans, and are gonna start consistently uploading video about your craft. That's it. If, you're, if you have no interest in uploading video you know, to YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, if you don't have an interest in that, then, then this group's not for you. you know, there, there's other forums, you know, we can still talk about your craft and the other stuff as well, like in the comments of YouTube and stuff like that. But um, anyway, just so I'm not like leaving anyone out, I just don't want anyone to feel bad about it. But uh, man, I'm just so excited to like see all of you who have been like starting to post videos on YouTube, little vlogs, tutorials, all that kind of stuff. It's so fun to see it. There's already been so many people that have uh, started doing it. All right, I'm backing up here because I missed a lot of stuff. Kim's here, what's up Kim? So glad you're here. Um, hello everyone, says so Stacy. David says, hi everyone. Uh, Alexa says, what up Kim? <laughs> Jared, which retracted a message. Uh, Broben says, yep, I'm jealous, still high 80s and 90s. Yeah, it's so funny because when it was hot, I was complaining like every day. I'm like, man, I want the, I want the, you know, the fall to come around. I, I love it when temperatures cool down. Um, just gotta be a little prepared for it. Okay. Um, Xtube Rad said, I'm afraid of making videos. I'm from Sweden, so my accent bothers me a lot, ha <laughs> ha. Oh my gosh. Please don't be bothered by that. I mean, none of us are bothered by it. And what better way to, you know, what a better way to uh, practice or just do it in your native language. But um, that's really cool. I, I'm, I'm glad. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe you're, you don't have like a genuine interest in doing it, but because I get that. Some people just freeze up on camera and I, I honestly, I did for a long time and I still sometimes do. I feel really stupid on the camera. Um, yeah, anyway, um, okay. I would like to start vlogging, but I don't know how to start. Nadia, that's awesome, I'm glad you asked that. Um, honestly, all you need is your smartphone 
and a YouTube channel and you're good to go. Like, don't be too worried about the details and the strategies and all those kinds of things yet. Just start uploading. Just get your camera out, film whatever you're doing. Who cares if it even has music or any editing, any of that. You can like refine that later on if you choose to, but just get your camera out and document whatever you're doing and, um, and, and upload it. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. You can, you know, over time, you're gonna figure out ways to, to do things that will work better or more comfortable for you. Um, you'll get better at editing and filming over time, but everyone can start with nothing but an, a smartphone and a YouTube channel. Okay, uh, let's see. Hello from Kenya. I'm always so inspired by you. I have a small, oh, oh I, mean, I lost it. Where'd it go? Oh no, where'd it go? Lost the comment. Okay, there it is. I'm always so inspired by you. I also have a small leather goods business. I admire your workshop and your tools. My dream right now, well done. Thank you, Fidelis, I appreciate that. Uh, Stacy says, yes, I do have an interest. That's cool, well make it happen, Stacy. You can do it, I believe in you. Um, Rebecca says, is it like a support group for people afraid to do videos? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, there will definitely be some of that for sure, but no, it's not a support group. It's just, it's about planning, strategizing, uh, you know, just, it's just, just about community. I, cause I feel very alone in what I do sometimes. Um, I sit out here, work, you know, work with leather. I don't see very many people during my day. And, um, believe me, there's a lot of, most of that I'm very happy about. I, I kind of like the idea that I'm just kind of secluded and on my own, but Every now and then it does get feeling kind of lonely. And um, there are a lot of like leather craft communities in general, but what I was really interested about is like all the aspects of building a business around leather craft and, and not just leather craft, but craftsmanship in general, makers, artisans. There's so many people that are doing what we do. And uh, I just really like the idea of, of uh, documenting it well, especially after the really uh, positive feedback and everything I was getting every time I uploaded to, to YouTube. So I just felt like this is where I want to be. I feel really happy right here, like documenting what we're doing and uh, you know, the community on YouTube. And I've started to see other people start doing it a little bit. And I just thought, why don't we do it together? You know, we can like help each other. We can learn from each other. Um, I gotta go stop my vlog cause it's still going. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's see. Stacy says, hey Parker, what's up? I uh, would love to learn from the new group, but dang, a vlog is scary, the thought at this point. <laughs> yeah, I get it, I know, it is. But, like I said, I just, I, I, you gotta push through the fear. Or you go back and watch one of my old videos, fear of failure. It's gonna kill you, it's gonna hurt you. Um, just get past it. Make it happen. If it's something that you believe would work for you, it's something you really want to do, but the fear's there, then you have to break through the fear. If it's something you just feel like you wouldn't really care to do, then, you know, whatever. Um, move on to something else. But uh, I was really afraid to start uploading because I just, I knew I'd get hammered. I'm not the most attractive of people. <laughs> And I just, I knew like, and, and I knew that a lot of my uh, leather craft techniques and strategies are kind of unorthodox. Um, but I did it anyway, and I've been like really pleasantly surprised at how nice and kind everyone is. There's, there's a lot less hate and, and uh, just blunt, you know, rudeness happening. There is some of it, but not enough to like ruffle any feathers for me, you know, because the positivity that comes from you guys in these comments is so overwhelming that it, it really trumps that. Um, yo, I'm from Montreal and English is my third language, so I have an accent too, but screw it, don't let that stop you. Yes, love it, Alexis. Um, I love a person with an accent. <laughs> Good day from Georgia. Hi, Mark. Smash that like button right on, Peter McKinnon style. <laughs> Where do you get your music? Epidemic? Yeah, I do, Douglas. See, that's, those are the kind of things that will be coming up in the group. We can talk about this, but I have a membership to Epidemic Sound, and uh, it has really good stuff. Um, 
I also have a couple friends that have been, who are like really good at producing music and have talked about making some music for me. So we'll, we'll see what comes out of that. It'll be pretty fun. Um, Hulk smash the like button. Uh, having an accent just adds a rad aspect to your video that most of us in America can't add. I think it's super awesome. Don't let that scare you. Jordan, that's an amazing point. This is exactly what I talked about in yesterday's vlog. It's that every one of us has a unique aspect about us that, that, that you can't get from somebody else, if that makes sense. So maybe your accent is something that, like I personally love watching like uh, Harry Rogers. I love his accent. <laughs> and, uh, um, uh, oh, Tarek from Charter Made. He's from South Africa. He's got the coolest accent. I wish I could speak like him all the time. It's so amazing. But um, yeah, so again, it's just, it's one of those things that uh, it could be unique and individual to you. And maybe people will come to you because they like the way you speak or the way that you interact or the way you work with leather, whatever it is. Like, and if they don't, then let them go. They're gone. You know, who cares? Don't, don't stress too much about like, um, you know, trying to get everybody to like you because that's not really why we do this. It's, it's, it's really not. So anyway, let's, let's talk about it. I make leather barefoot minimalist shoes and there are no video tutorials out there, but I don't know anything about editing. Yeah, see, that's always a great opportunity when you see something that you can't find, or I guess you wouldn't see it. When there is something out there that you can't find videos for, um, you know there's a hole you can fill there, so make it happen. If you're not good at editing, who cares? There's so many uh, videos out there on YouTube that are just, it's like just this. It's like an iPhone filming, like a static shot. There's no editing, it's just one take. There's a lot of those. If that's all it is, great. Like, don't stress about the editing. Um, all right, I'm missing a bunch of them here. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Haters gonna hate regardless. Keep doing you, bro, you're killing it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Cecilia, hi, I'm from Brazil, welcome. Hope I said that right. Pimentel. Zarif Knight, hi Parker, I've been watching your videos since day one, but never had the opportunity to watch you live as our time zones are poles apart. Today's my lucky day, right on. It must be late for you. I'm glad you could finally jump in. I make leather, oh yeah, I saw that one. English is my second language, so I'm self-conscious about my accent, lack of appropriate voc vocabulary. Yeah, we talked about that. Um, maybe I should take up vlogging. I have an American Norwegian accent. Yes, <laughs> that's cool, Miss Scoom. Do it. Please, I missed out on this group thing. Revisit, because I need to join ASAP. Yeah, just go. Go click on our, the last video I uploaded right before this and then look in, there's a link in the description with a link to the uh, Facebook group. I need to add it into the default uploads because this one's not gonna have it, but I'll, I'll change that. But the last video will have it. Or just go to Facebook and search hashtag maker vloggery. That'll do it. Uh, start, with an I, start with iMovie on your phone. Yeah, okay, so a couple, I don't know, a couple months ago, like as I was just starting to get into the whole like daily vlogging thing again, uh, I was really getting like fired up about it again. Um, I started editing with my phone. So I would take all the videos with my phone and edit them and upload it all within my phone. And it's, it's amazing that we can do that. That's a killer resource. I just, I eventually, I started getting really into like improving quality and using, you know, my different lenses and getting better audio and stuff like that. So now I use my Sony 6500. But you can do anything with your phone. It's pretty incredible. This is my setup right here uh, that I've got now. So if, if any of you, I mean, this is like a pretty traditional like vlogging setup. Uh, I don't think most people use Sony's just because they don't have the flip out camera. But as far as this tripod and the video, Rode Video Micro, um, you know, a nice wide lens. This is a sweet setup. The next uh, Sony uh, APS-C sensor camera that's coming out is supposed to have a flip screen, the A67 or 7000. And so I'll definitely be investing in that when it comes out. It's supposed to be like a few months, but um, look how wide this lens is. So when you look in there, it's not like all up in my grill. Like I used to have another lens that I would try and vlog with, but it was kind of like this, you know, way too up close and personal. 
So this is really wide, you know, and, and the wider your shot is, the more stable it will appear. And um, also, this camera has in-body image stabilization, and the lens matches up with it as well. It's got optical steady shot, so it's, it's just really easy to get like a good steady handheld shot. Um, these make it really easy to just prop it up on the table if you just need to get a, a shot of you working or whatever. Um, so anyway, this is like a good standard vlogging setup. It's what I use, but you don't have to, you know, like I said, you can get really far. I mean, as far as you want, just by using your iPhone, seriously. Or if you don't even have an iPhone, you can go get one of those little Canon PowerShot Elf. Uh, I, I, what are they called? Digi PowerShot. I don't know, something like that. But the, you can get them for like $90. And I think there's even cheaper ones, but as long as it's got 10, it records in 1080p, that's, an, that's gonna be an amazing tool right there. You know, like that's all you need to start filming. So don't let something, don't, don't let something like gear get in the way of you doing something like this. Again, I, got, I need to like change the narrative. I don't want everyone to think that I'm just encouraging everybody to start vlogging. I'm really not. Um, it's been fun because it seems like a lot of you are wanting to get into it like you seem pretty interested in it so that's why i'm talking about it a lot but again i don't I, i'm not sitting here suggesting that everybody should do it so I, I i hope that nobody's getting that impression like it's not for everybody and i'm not saying it's the only way to have to grow a successful brand there are so many other things you can do but I, this is something that's kind of new to me and it's working really well it's been amazing for our you know for the community and uh um, yeah, so like I'm just saying I love it and and my point was like if any of you if anyone else out there is doing it Then I wanted to create some community within that. So that's kind of where I'm at with that um, Stacy, yeah, I, it's a Canon power shot. Let me look it up really quick. I'll see what like Prices there are it's just a little point-and-shoot digital camera like nothing nothing crazy So yeah, here's one the Canon power shot elf e l p h is uh, $79 that's crazy. So that would be like, I would recommend getting something like that if you don't have an iPhone or if you just don't want to store a lot of videos on your iPhone. This is like one of the most affordable ways of just getting into recording 1080 video and, uh, you know, being able to upload to YouTube. You can buy really cheap little like mini tripods on Amazon and stuff. So seriously, don't let money get in the way of, of documenting your process as a maker. Okay, um, let me get back to the comments here. Catch you later, Alexis. Okay, um, I gotta go back a little more. Caught a live one. Hello, Parker, and hello, chat. What's up, Mark? Hi, Nico. Hi, Craigon. 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 You have an accent to most outside. I know. I've thought about that a lot. You guys probably think I speak really strange and I, I do anyway to, even to uh, Native American not Native American <laughs> uh, to Native English speakers I probably sound really strange but it's me doing me all right hey Douglas yes that's it people want to see the realness of what we do totally agree okay scrolling down here Jordan says you could even get a nice lens and a small mic for your phone. Boom, your videos will look even better and you don't have to invest in a big setup. There are ways to do things cheaper on the cheaper end. Yeah, I've talked about that in one of my videos, the iPhone lenses. I'm a big fan of Moment. It's a company out there that's making phone lenses and they actually vlog. They're like one of the only businesses I've seen out there that use vlogging like on a daily basis. They're uploading stuff all the time. Like, you know, they're daily like, What's the word I'm going for? Like just like their regular day-to-day -day kind of responsibilities and duties and they're, they're going out and getting content. They're meeting up with big YouTubers and photographers and getting reviews and, and just so much stuff. Like they document everything and I just love that. Jordan, I think you were one of the ones that said you watched uh, Moment as well. Moment lenses are awesome. I have a few and they're really great. Yeah, they really are. If I weren't such a like a video nerd, you know, like I really get into the aspect of of like creating quality video. And so if it weren't for that, I would be 100% happy with just 
my iPhone and like a couple different moment lenses and maybe even a gimbal. I have a gimbal for my phone, which is really nice. But like just with that little setup right there, you can get some amazing video. In fact, I'm really hating how, speaking of quality video, I'm really hating how blown out. It's just like all of this right here is completely blown out. My face was blown out. All right. Wesley drew on my chair. All right, um, gosh, I need to work, you guys. Holy cow, haven't done a single thing. Um, you guys keep chatting, keep hanging out. Got some stuff to do. In fact, I'm gonna have to wrap this up here just in about 10 minutes because we're leaving to uh, the Weber State downtown store here in Ogden. Some of our friends and their businesses are having like a grand opening thing going on. Um, Ogden Made, which is a business I used to be a part of, and uh, I used to partly own it at one point, but um, Daily Rise Coffee, they're actually our neighbors, and they're, oh, they just opened up a new location down there, along with a company called Anchi's Dope too. It's like women's athletic apparel, stuff like that. So anyway, um, we're going to head down there. They're having free food. We're just going to go say hi to our friends down there. If any of you are from Ogden, you should meet us down there. It'd be pretty cool. I don't know that any of you are. I know um, Michael Aragon used to pop in here quite a bit, but. Um, man, sorry, Kim, your, your uh, comments are getting flagged. Thank you so much for sending everyone over there. Like and share this incredible channel with your friends and family. Thank you so much, Kim. Um, Marv said, hey. I want to do a video of staining my bag. Yes, that would be amazing. I'd love to see that, Stacy. Post a video. Do it. What's up, Clay? He said, hey, from Chattanooga. I saw that you joined the Facebook group. I'm so glad you did. Uh, hi from the Netherlands. Wish I were closer. Would love to meet you guys. Yes, I, I would love that, Terry. Wish you were closer as well. Where are you? Yeah, if anybody's in Ogden. Uh, let me throw that out there. Is anyone from Ogden? Or like near Ogden? Um, drink gold be gold. He, oh, he usually jumps on the Instagram live streams. Maybe that's why I haven't seen him. But uh, yeah, I, we're gonna be heading down there. It's gonna be a cool time to meet up with some of you guys if any of you are there. There's gonna be free food, beverages, cool people. Hoping Ron Jeremy doesn't show up again today. <laughs> that wasn't good. For any of you that weren't there in our last live stream, there was a, just some troll popped on under the alias of Ron Jeremy. <laughs> I always just think it's sublime when I hear that, but yeah, um, he was just writing some nasty stuff. So luckily, um, Wit was reporting it. Uh, we reported him. He gone. Yeah, Jordan saw him. <laughs> that was nuts. At first, I just thought it was a joke, so I didn't want to overreact and be like, whoa, get this guy out of here. But then the comments really started getting weird, and I'm like, all right, you're out, Ron. All right, I need those to dry now. And I don't want to start on anything else. Usually while I'm letting some, uh, some of the glue get tacky, I'll start on kind of like the next step or another set. But since I gotta leave here in like 10 minutes, I'm just gonna kind of wrap this up and we'll, um, I'll hit this again when I get back. He was a creep, yeah. Caster Line Leather on IG. Just curious what kind of glue are you using? Hi from Texas. Hi Eric. Uh oh, I got the hiccups. Um, I'm just using Eco Weld from Tandy right now. I say just, like, I don't know why I'm just using it. I love this stuff, it's great. It's water-based, um, it's really affordable. 
Um, yeah, it works great. I just, I had a bottle of it laying around forever and I kept getting other stuff like sent to me. I got uh, some Sewa water-based glue, which I really like as well. Um, um, what else? Anyway, I have, I still have a ton of barge left over, but I just wanted to uh, try out the Eco Weld because it's, I just have a bottle of it and I actually really love it. It's, it does a good job from Tandy. Water-based cement. The reason I like it, I say this every time I'm hop on a video, but the reason I like it is it's still, you can't hear it, but it's still liquid. It doesn't dry up. Like I've had this same bottle going for, I don't know, months and I haven't cleaned it out yet. With the barge, I used to have to pull the, the top off and this would get stuck all the time. I'd pull the top off, dig it all out, dig out the dry glue and then refill it. Um, I just don't have to with this. Like it stays, and, I, and the fact that it's water-based, if it ever did get like kind of, you know, dried up or something, I could just add water to it and probably wake right back up. I don't know about that for sure, but it seems like it would since it's water-based. Make, hashtag make a vloggery on FB. Thanks, Kathy. Cool, thanks. I bought that glue when they first released it. Way expensive back then. Glad the price came down. Oh, man. Yeah, wh when was that, I wonder? Must have been a while ago. Did you make that Makers Facebook group you talked about in the last video? I did. I did. Uh, just go search hashtag maker vloggery on Facebook. Um, or if you click on the last vlog I posted and then go into the description, there's a link to it. So send a request, but I'm just putting a little disclaimer out there. I'm not accepting people who don't already have a YouTube channel. Um, you need to have a YouTube channel and you have to, if you're not like completely immersed in consistently posting yet, that's fine. But I at least want to see that you have a YouTube channel and that you've posted like one or two videos or that I can tell that you're really planning on it, you know, because I, I just don't want, you know, we're trying to keep the group like really tight with only people who are like genuinely committed to posting consistently. Um, so, but I mean, it's okay if you don't have a YouTube channel, like just go set one up. Cause I mean, you're not gonna wanna join this group unless you plan on doing it eventually, you know? So just, Wait until you've actually started your channel, get a couple videos posted, and then send a request for the group and I'll accept it. That's kind of what I've been trying to like convey with everybody um, because we're only accepting like committed vloggers. You know, we want people who are jumping on there and, and plan on consistently posting videos. So yes, do it. Thank you, Stacy. Um, yeah, I don't want it to feel like, like we're excluding people just because they don't, you know, have a YouTube, like, I, it's, it's hard not to make this feel like negative as I've been um, kind of like deleting posts and, and reiterating the rules over and over again. I don't want the group to feel like that, but we're trying to just keep it real focused, just laser focused on what the group is all about. And it's all about the, it's, it, it's, it's all about vlogging and everything surrounding it in a maker's world. So so if you're not you know, committed to it, then you're not even gonna wanna be in that channel or in the Facebook group. Um, okay, just starting, so it may take, take a couple days. That's great, we'll be here, and I will happily accept that. I can't wait to, you're gonna answer some questions, I'll get to see what your answers are, and then you'll put a link to your channel once you have it, and I'm gonna go check your channel, I'll even subscribe. So I'm just starting, so it may take a couple days, yeah. Which moment lens do you use? I use the moment wide, uh, mostly. I kinda just felt like, the portrait one, what's it called? Is it the portrait, the 60 millimeter or whatever? I felt like maybe that was kind of not worth buying just because I didn't feel like it gave me any a different, like all it did was make it feel like it was zoomed in and I could just zoom in, you know? The wide helps because on your phone you literally can't go any wider than what it shows. So that lens puts it on, opens up the perspective so all of a sudden you're getting a really wide shot. So it's really good for like landscape photography or vlogging. So. Um, then there's another one that's a super fish and that looks really fun. I love fish eye lens. And then there's a new one they just came out with that they crowdfunded. It's called an anamorphic lens. It's kind of like the stranger things look like really, really, uh, uh oh, <coughs> <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Wit gets so mad at me when I sneeze like that. Are my comments still getting flagged? Cause I just let another comment. It seemed like you didn't see it. I wonder why that is. Yeah, maybe so, Kim. Um, 
Oh, oh, you know what? I just missed it. I'm sorry. There's a ton of comments. Okay, have a blessed day. Please tell your lovely wife I said hello. Have fun today. Are you going to record and post the grand opening? Yes, I am, Kim. I'm going to bring our vlog camera. We'll document the whole thing a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm really trying to make our videos more like leather um, specific for the, you know, our leather craft followers. So, yeah, I'm really trying to like keep that, keep that pretty dialed in. But I wish I could just document my whole day. If I could post a video of just like regular day-to-day -day stuff, like stuff I'm actually doing, <laughs> and know that there was still gonna be good engagement and, and still get good clicks and people were still gonna like it and enjoy it, then I, I would do that all the time. I think it would be really fun. Hey, look who's here. The whole crew? Oh, oh. Where, he checked for his beanie. Where's your hat, buddy? I tried to put it on, he wouldn't let me. Say hi. Just got a text from Thomas. Hi. 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 You ready to go? I was just wrapping it up. Yeah, I'm just waiting for this stuff to dry so I can assemble it and then we can go. Hey buddy, don't fall. <laughs> wow, you are so big. Really tricky. Here, let's spin this this way. You guys talk for a bit. I gotta... Wow, Andy, that is a good trick. Terry said, hi, Wit. Hi, Terry. I was, oh yeah, I forgot to answer that part, Kim. Kim said, um, she was asking, how's your lovely wife? I was just asking about you, how are you feeling? Looking good, girl. <laughs> hey, I feel good today. Yesterday wasn't so good, but I feel good today. What? Okay, you can have a seat. Thank you for asking. I was trying to round up some Ogden people, see if anyone here is from Ogden, we could meet them down at the downtown store. They you are. should post about it on Instagram. Yeah. They were? Not that I, I yeah, nobody's answered yet about it. What? Here, take some <laughs> Marv Barkwin gave you some meds. Some emoji meds. <laughs> so glad you're feeling better, Kim says. Thank you. Me too. Wesley, how was your nap, buddy? How was your nap? <laughs> Hey, who's getting Oreos? Oh, you're getting Nutter Butters. <laughs> Can you just share with him because you guys don't need a whole pack? My hands are so cold, they're not even they're not working properly. Wes's hands are already cold from just coming out here. I'm just sitting on the heater again. Let <laughs> me help you. Can you say hi to the camera? Hi, Dad. Show him your dance you learned yesterday. It started snowing in the Denver area. That's crazy, Kathy. We got a little bit of snow here as well. Luckily, it didn't touch our level, but up in the mountains, or we can see it at the top of our mountains. Yeah. And our, our partner, Thomas, our business partner here, he uh, posted a video this morning of his kids playing in the snow, and I was blown away. Indy wanted to pay, play in the snow this morning, huh, Indy? going to be a much shorter one. This I kind of so planned on doing it before we left so that I could keep it short just because um, the last one was like two and a half hours long. I found a dollar in my pocket. Oh, it's mine. I put it in there. No. It's Probably. pretty fun. Huh. What are we going to do with our dollar? Just stop. I haven't seen anything. Still in the Still 80s here. Where's where are you Kim at? Says Jordan, no I can't remember. Jordan's in Fight. Nevada. You are not accepting those without a YouTube channel? Question mark. Okay, I gotta start soon then. Yes. And I, again, I don't want that to be like we're not trying to uh, 
exclude anybody. We're just, this group is really designed to like be focused for those who are consistently posting videos. It doesn't have to be a YouTube channel. It can be like, I mean, I just want to see that you're consistently posting video to Instagram or Facebook or whatever. And if you're consistently doing it and you're like really committed to it, then, then yeah, we're, we'll have you on board. But we just didn't want to have like a whole bunch of people um, that were like just kind of there to watch. You know, we want people who are in it to like specifically for creating content. Brady said I need to come visit so I can get Oreos and Fresca. I'm out of Fresca. And Oreos. We got to get some more before you come up. But yeah, you do need to come up. Wow, it makes me want 75 degrees now that it's 39. But I wanted to wear jackets. A video I would love to see is how to buy leather online. Yeah, that's a, that's a great suggestion. We need to put that up. I do most of my videos as tutorials on Facebook Live and all the videos are saved. Cool. If that's the case, just make sure you put that like in the questions that we ask at the beginning and we'll be able to, we read them all. Like it's Wit, Wit and I are the only admins. So we'll read through them. If it's, you know, if you've got consistent content going up or it looks like you are very soon going to have some content, like at least have a YouTube channel made or some platform where you're, it looks like you're ready to post. Hey. No playing with that. Go drink your juice. It's so we'll much do, colder We'll do a here. video on that, Kurt, for sure. <clears throat> Wait, Pine Top Brent. I thought you were in Nevada. Didn't, didn't you say Nevada last time? Or am I going crazy? You said something about Nevada mountains. You have to <laughs> tell us again. We don't have very good memories. Sorry, Jordan. said Southern Nevada. Nevada City. Oh, is it, so that's in <laughs> California? <laughs> that's deceiving. Hey. Not that you're being deceiving. That's deceiving. Whoever named that city Nevada City should have been in Nevada. Hi, bud. Those are some cool shoes, bud. Boots, Oh, boots. No, he doesn't have his boots on today. quite tacky enough, but I'm kind of jumping the gun. I usually don't like to do that. It's stupid. But we're trying to leave soon here. I have a friend up there who owns a natural herb farm. Pine top. 45 minutes from the border of Nevada. In the of Nevada. My hands aren't working. Yeah, it's really cold out here. wildlife where you are where you live near your home yeah I, I actually started the vlog out today out by the river because there were ducks out there did you see them Indy? are they very still wild. out there no that's not really wildlife I we saw, I saw a deer out the our bedroom window the other day yeah he was Staring just looking in the window we, we um, there probably is a lot but we don't see it my grandpa said he saw a big old bull moose walking down the boardwalk when he lived here I've been waiting for that moment hey did I hurt your hand? Did you hurt your hand? It's just so cold. Come here, come sit on mom's lap. In the heat. His hands are freezing. Go put him by the heater. Look, come put him right here. I'm originally from Utah and travel home a lot. Would you ever entertain having me swing by your shop and check it out and pick your brain? Jason, I would love that so much. We kind of had to have a blanket policy in the beginning to um, 
just just for everyone, not not for anyone specific, but just to not bring people into the shop, just because it's uh, it's in our home. So we have to be really careful about um, you know letting our, our YouTube subscribers and Instagram followers uh, you know come visit us. It's unfortunate. Like we really would love to have a place one day, like maybe a storefront or something, where we can have meetups and I don't know. I think that'd be really fun, but. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Jason, but we can definitely meet up like somewhere else. We can we can uh, find a good meeting place to go hang out. Uh, let's see. He'll be making wallets in no time. How are you going to heat your shop? <laughs> That's a great question, Tell Kathy. We just need to find a more serious heater. I was hoping this little space heater would do the job because it's a pretty small space, but it's not. The, the one weekend where I left the heater on all weekend, <laughs> I know it was really stupid, but I left it on, and when I got back, the place was nice and toasty, but as far as just like heading out in the morning and getting warmed up, it's not doable. It's really not. Can you say hi? Wave, wave to yourself right there. Safety's first and foremost the important thing. Totally understandable, it doesn't have to be at the shop. I've always just seen, come up with questions after the fact, you never remember. Yeah, totally, Jason, I'm happy to do that. <laughs> Um, you have to be really careful. Privacy policy is important to have in place. Yeah, it's just it's just all about family. Like maybe even if I was a bachelor and I had this at our house, at my house, like I would probably bring a whole bunch of people here. But um, yeah, it's just like with the kids and and with you know if she's ever home alone, like I just worry way too much about who's here. So Brady says his parents found a good solution to heat the cabin. It would work perfect for you. Oh, that's cool. We better find out what he did. Was it was it expensive? I thought about getting one of those little pellet stoves, or do it for the house too. Yeah, we have a wood burning fireplace in our house that we run a lot just because it's kind of fun. It's fun to build a fire, and we'll build it right by our TV and watch movies, and it's pretty cool. But it. It actually saves us a lot of money on propane because we're on propane here. It's so expensive and we're cheapos. Yeah, but it, I mean, you still have to buy it. Like we, um, you know, you gotta get wood ready, split wood. I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. Pellet stove would work great for the shop. Mr. Buddy Heater. Yeah, we'll have to look that up too. Kathy said wood stove, pellet stove. Yeah, I've got a nice little, one of those pot belly fireplaces outside that I was planning on installing in here. But I'd have to like lay a brick section and uh, install it with, you know, like a chimney or something. And it was just more work. To, and it actually was going to take up too much space. So I'm just like, ah, I, don't, I think I'm just going to leave it out. We'll figure out another way to heat it. Wood stove would definitely fit the style. It would. I, I had this vision when we were building this place of like just being in the dead of winter, just covered in snow. We have like a stack of wood outside and a little wood burning fireplace in here and the chimney smoking. And, I love the idea of that. I think that sounds fun, but. Solar power, Kim, that's a good idea. We actually have a good friend who does solar power, so. Yeah, that'd be cool. We should look into that too. Your giant window wall for your house looks amazing, but I can't imagine how cold it gets in oh, the winter. Oh, it's freezing. Yeah. It's so cold in that room. It's freezing in that room. Brady said there's this AC too. That'd be cool. What do you want? i to go move back a little bit. Marv said, I got to run, Parker. I'm actually on shift right now. Just took a break. Have a good day. Right on. Thank you, Marv. Glad you're here. Thanks for being here. <coughs> okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. We're going to head out, but thank you so much for joining out. This has been really fun. Uh, Kim says, check Solar Polar. They will pay you. Oh, wow, cool. <laughs> Wouldn't be mad about that. Solar Polar? Solar Polar. We'll look into it. Thanks, Kim. Okay, you guys, hope you have a good one today. Like I said, if you're in Ogden or Utah even, come to the Weber State downtown store and come see us. Oh, sorry, Miss Pris, just missed it. Hop on Friday, we'll probably be back on. Yeah.